happen soon. We'll let you know when that happens. But what we're going to do is, is go over the lesson that you guys had um, last Tuesday before we left for the break. Inside this classroom at Grandview Heights Middle School, it may not look like it, but musical magic is happening. Combining music and today's media, teacher Ken Green has created a class you won't find anywhere else in Shelby County. Music and media is a class I've developed over several years of working here in Shelby County Schools. It's uh, sort of a hybrid course combining uh, the best of general music in terms of composition, uh, performance, uh, a lot of the literacy pieces, uh, reading and writing music. We do drama exercises, we um, study rhythms and different patterns of music, we um, annotate forms, and we do kind of notations in music. It's really fun. This class gives students a hands-on experience. In today's technology, like this iPad, they're able to express their vocal and musical performances. We learned about the drum circle, how to put the beats in formation. We learned a lot about Africa too. Faculty members say since he's been at Grandview Heights, Ken Green has changed the way they view traditional learning. Does this poem tell you something about, about the content? I think he pushes the envelope as far as what we're supposed to teach the kids listed on the curriculum. Besides being creative, one of the main goals of the class is to apply lessons to other academic classes and vice versa. He redefines possibility. You know, a lot of students, you know, they find out music's on their schedule like music. Oh, but this is not your typical music class. This is a music class that uh, involves everything from politics to uh, literature uh, in a realistic and relevant way. Uh, that again captures the interest and imaginations of, of students who would not love having that on your staff. And Green says he loves knowing that what he is doing will impact his students for the rest of their lives. I, I want them to realize uh, through the work we do here uh, that, that they have their own voice. Reporting for News 101, I'm Sarah Mayers.